Well, hello and uh, welcome aboard. We appreciate you tuning in. Uh, on behalf of Perfect Video Conferencing and Blue Jeans, uh, I wanted to thank you for taking some time out of your day to look at this. We're going to do a, a brief round of introductions in, in just a moment and, and go over an agenda. But again, this, this is really about thanking you for tuning in. I'm Randy Marcotte, the co-owner and CEO of Perfect Video Conferencing. And uh, I've got Rachel James with me here. And we're actually at a customer site, New Schools Venture Fund. And you'll get to hear a little bit about what they do um, as part of this. It, it's great to talk about the, the industry and the technology, but we think it's even better to actually have customers talk about how they use this technology uh, to uh, improve their unified communications and, quite frankly, their collaboration. So it's, um, it's through Blue Jeans that we get to do that. And uh, you'll hear from me on some unique trends in the industry and why we choose Blue Jeans. But first of all, it's, uh, let's do a quick round of introductions. We're going to skip the uh, perfect video conferencing folks. There's some sales folks that are on here just to show extra endpoints. But most importantly, we wanted to just um, introduce the Blue Jeans team directly. So Laura or Adeline, you're welcome to paper, rock, scissors to see who goes first. But uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves, please. Hi, I'm Laura Hamill, and I'm a marketing manager at Blue Jeans. My job at Blue Jeans is to help our partners evangelize the Blue Jeans solution and their product portfolio. My name is Adeline, and I'm the channel manager here at Blue Jeans. Uh, I work with Perfect Video, and uh, my job is just to align any resources that you guys might need uh, when uh, working on Blue Jeans opportunities. And I am joined today uh, via the browser. Thanks. We've uh, got some endpoint and browser joins. We also have an audio participant, so. Uh, Glad to see the multimodalities coming in. If you have any logistics questions or you're having trouble seeing content, you're welcome to call Mike Granados, 516-282-2880, uh, extension 180. Uh, shouldn't have any logistics problems, but uh, if you do, uh, give us a shout. We'll be glad to help. Uh, Rachel, you want to tell them a little bit about who you are? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Rachel James. I work here at New Schools Venture Fund. And when I started about a year ago, I was uh, privileged enough to become the Blue Jeans expert for our organization. Um, and that was because we realized we really needed to start embracing all of the different ways that Blue Jeans works for us. So I'm excited to talk about that in a bit. Great. Thanks very much. Yeah. Uh, the agenda that you see here, obviously, is just about showing, showcasing the technology. For all intents and purposes, if you've seen this far and this much, you could almost hang up because we've already done what Blue Jeans does really, really well. We've made it easy for people to connect, uh, seamless for people to participate, and we include content in a way that's rich and immersive. So uh, from, a, from a technology perspective, bravo, we've done it. But in your environment, we probably want to talk a little bit more about where the rubber hits the road and how this technology comes together. So for the, for the rest of the agenda, it really is a little bit of an overview of perfect video conferencing, a little bit of an overview of Blue Jeans, and we'd like to hear about new schools and how they deploy. And then um, I'll talk a little bit about the market and then show underneath the hood how we made this meeting happen. Uh, and so we're um, also on the recording, going to divide this into chapters or so you feel like skipping ahead. You won't hurt our feelings. Uh, you're welcome to do so. Uh, so with that, let me tell you a little bit about perfect video conferencing. Uh, we're about five years old, so we still can technically call ourselves a startup. We are a traditional value-added reseller, uh, mostly selling endpoints and cloud services for video. But we've got a couple of other brands. Let me uh, try to show you those websites. Uh, a couple of other brands that we operate under for the purposes of um, selling voice products. So Perfect Video Conferencing, that's where we do all of our voice and uh, video integrations. Under globalcall.com, you'll see some of our partnerships and then our voice strategy, we are a sub-agent for a number of short tail resellers. And so if you need a voice over IP platform or those to integrate, you'll likely hear from us under the Global Call brand. And then we operate a store where you can see all of the products um, at store.perfectvc.com. And so again, in that traditional VAR space, uh, we operate mostly a video conferencing and uh, phone system integrator. Uh, but we're taking it to another level, which I'll tell you about in just a moment. If you're interested already in doing a demo or a trial, you'll, you'll just navigate to store.perfectvc.com, click on Perfect Video Cloud, and then you'll get this Blue Jeans splash page, where then you can um, you can sign up for your own Blue Jeans demo. Uh, it's a two-week trial, which we'll talk to you a little bit more about in a, in a moment. Uh, so 
A couple of key things that we do um, at Perfect VC. We, uh, not only do we do the traditional video conferencing model, which is what you see here at New, new Schools, but we're also optimizing the technology so that you can bring it down to a, a mobile device. And so uh, these devices uh, are now shipping with more and more uh, horsepower, better and better cameras, and the, the interwebs are working faster and faster. So it's, it's a very reasonable expectation that you can actually have this be your point of contact both voice or video, and we specialize in making sure you get the right browser connection or the right device connection and make sure all of that integrates. We do premise-based bridges, so if for some reason you need a, a, a privacy or a connection that just uh, uh, you can't get out of the cloud or for some reason your organization, law firms or health, health sometimes have a, have a catch-22 around cloud services, we can manage that as a premise-based or a managed solution in a private colo as well. Um, and uh, you can read slides, so I'll leave this up for a moment. But the, uh, the key thing I'd like to mention about this takeaway is that uh, our experience of integration begins with your needs. And if we're not designing a solution based on uh, your voice needs, your video needs, in a way that meets your end user's communication needs, we're probably doing it wrong and you should kick us out. So uh, I pride myself on, on coaching the team so that we're actually delivering solutions that are based on the needs of your organization. So if you're not getting those as open-ended questions, uh, please let me know personally, uh, and then we'll make sure we adjust uh, so that you are getting that. But, uh, we do op operate 24 by 7 for help desk if needed. Different SLAs uh, certainly apply, and uh, we'll handle the solutions end, end to end. So and I promise it to be brief about who I am, because I really would like Rachel to talk a little bit more about them and, and how they use it. But before making that direct connection, we should probably have either Laura or um, Adeline talk a little bit about the background of Blue Jeans. Thanks, Randy. So um, at Blue Jeans, our mission is to make video communications as easy and pervasive as audio communications. So with Blue Jeans, we offer a cloud-based video conferencing service, and we enable interoperability between many different video endpoints like we're using on today's call. So we can connect multi-party MCUs with standard-based room systems. We also can connect SIP-based soft clients and other platforms like Microsoft Link, Google Video Chat, or Cisco Jabber. And we also have a web browser, which Adeline and myself are using today. And you can connect to our BlueJeans web browser via Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. And we also have features like up to 100 participants on a call and a recording feature that we're also using today's call. So BlueJeans is really good for any kind of industry and any company size. And we love working with our partners to be a part of their full video communications portfolio. Some of the customers that we've helped um, with their video solutions through partners are Stanford University, Rosetta Stone, and also the New Schools Venture Fund. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Laura. So uh, yeah. the spotlight is, is yours. So let me okay. give you the content sharing so you can um, Give us a little bit more about New Schools and, and how we've made a difference here. If we actually have one, I think we have. I think so. <laughs> um, so, New Schools Venture Fund. Um, I'm coming to in California, uh, but we do have offices in other areas, and I'll talk about that in a little bit here. So, basically, I just wanted to share how Blue Jeans helps move New Schools work forward. Um, our mission is uh, that we are committed to transforming uh, public education through powerful ideas and passionate entrepreneurs so that we can help uh, work with to improve the education for underserved communities, basically. Um, how we do that is we're a nonprofit venture ph philanthropy firm, and we get capital from foundations and from private donors and put that back out into people that we believe in and who we believe can transform education. So we actually do fund a lot of technology, and so it's really great that we stay on the forefront ourselves in how we use technology to stay connected. Um, our team, so we are a distributed organization. Oakland is our headquarters, but we also have offices in Boston, Palo Alto, Washington, D.C., and then a few remote employees. So how is it that we are able to stay connected and work in collaboration? Um, it's really through Blue Jeans is an amazing tool for us. So we hold regular team meetings. So every single week we're holding Blue Jeans meetings at least once a week that include every single office that I just identified. 
We also bring in guest speakers, so um, folks may join us in person, which is great, but they also might join us from their home. So they're able to do content sharing, walk us through PowerPoints. Um, if it's an entrep entrepreneur, they're able to walk us through their product and what their app might look like or what their website is, et cetera. Um, so we also use BlueJeans as a strictly conference call line um, at times as well. So we're able to use all facets of BlueJeans in lots of interesting ways to keep us connected. Um, from my point of view as someone who uh, train, does the training internally around BlueJeans, what I see as the benefits for new schools um, is a quick and responsive customer service and troubleshooting. If someone has does experience something like a dropped call or a dropped video, I'm able to speak with someone right away to find out where that's coming from. Is that from their cell phone service? Or was there something going on with blue jeans? Is there something with the internet connection, et cetera? So we're able to get right to the root of any sort of problems that might be going on. Um, also, as Randy mentioned, um, I'm a big fan of blue jeans apps. So I use it on my iPhone and uh, with just a couple of clicks, you're able to join a meeting either by video or audio. And for those of us who are on the go a lot, it's been an amazing asset. Um, so I make sure that our highest management has a strong understanding of how to use this app on their phone so that they aren't restricted to joining a meeting because they're at an airport, for example, and maybe they're not able to use their laptop and plug in on their browser. Um, there's also a lot of flexibility, so you're able to create ID, meeting ID numbers that are meaningful to you so that you, again, don't have to uh, be burdened by the scheduling and things like that. So that's another benefit that we've really enjoyed. Um, and record function. So when, when not everyone can be present, but it's an important meeting, we know that we can count on BlueJeans to hold that information for us and share that back out. And that's been a great thing. Um, and with that, Another thing with BlueJeans that we really appreciate is that it is constantly evolving and improving. So when we started using BlueJeans um, about a year ago or so, the record function wasn't something that they had. So just as an example. So they definitely listen to what it is that um, their clients are looking for and they're able to respond to that and make sure that that's happening. And I know I personally have had a lot of conversations with engineers actually at BlueJeans with uh, some feedback, so for better or for worse, but they're fun to talk to. So. Um, so that is definitely uh, what I see as our benefits. Wonderful. Um, if you're curious about how the content has been shared, uh, I did want to uh, let everyone know uh, that I've done something specifically on this. I've actually shown content both by suppressing my camera and by doing um, content feed or, or H329 protocol, which is a fairly complicated thing to do with video conferencing. And it's nice that this actually just worked here. So. Uh, wanted to point that out just in case you're watching the, the meeting and you're kind of curious how all of that came together. Uh, so one of the things I promised we would, would do next is actually talk a little bit about what we see as some industry trends and, and, and why there's a compelling call to action uh, for, for Blue Jeans services. And I'm going to do that from my perspective as a, a small business owner and an integrator because I think for us, we wouldn't have been able to grow to the levels we have without services like Blue Jeans. Uh, so there have been four key factors that our customers are coming to us very regularly asking about. And, and these map to a number of the trends that we see in the video conferencing space. Mobility. Uh, and I think uh, Rachel has talked a lot, enough about that where I don't have to hit that dead horse again. It's, um, you know, for us it is the key piece of this. And she's spoken about it so nicely and eloquently. Um, take her word for it. It works. Uh, but it is a big uh, growth spike in how we see people adopting video conferencing. But then simplicity is the second thing that people are asking us for. So as they're coming to us for solutions, what they really want is something, uh, I usually use the word easeability, something the, the average end user, or quite frankly, even the more challenging end user can adopt and use. We, we'd like the technology to get out of the way of an effective meeting. And we see with services like BlueJeans, uh, we can absolutely do that. We then don't have to have which voice bridge are we dialing to or which screen sharing tool are we using. And, and how are we meeting on video conferencing? It's, it's just one infrastructure. Go there, have your meetings, conduct business, and get the technology out of the way. And so it's simple. Uh, and there's an easeability to it. Uh, quality and integration is absolutely the next thing that comes to mind. So as our client base gets bigger and there's sort of more and more needs, what we want to make sure is that it's not freeware. Uh, and everyone has crappy experiences with some of the at home, point-to-point -point connections with their family or grandkids, and that's fine. 
you can hang up, you can call back, you can search for a better Wi-Fi access point, you can plug in, and you can call back. Or you can pick up the phone and call someone. But when we're at work, we expect the technology, again, to get out of the way, and we want quality so we can see the facial expressions and nuances on spreadsheets and, 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 and content that's rich. So uh, Blue Jeans, because it's not free, has been able to invest in infrastructure that delivers a product that has that quality. Um, and then the second piece is integration. So on, on the, the video conferencing infrastructure we have here, we tied into their PDX. And so uh, we know you already buy phone systems, but we know you have a communication infrastructure. So why not use this as one ecosystem for unified communications rather than, again, one silo here that does function A and another silo there. So we're, um, we're very pleased to use this as our go-to solution um, uh, for that type of tight integration and, and less complexity. So again, it's quality and integration. And then that, the final one is ubiquity. The ability to do video anywhere, when you want it, on your own terms. Uh, the other piece that comes to, to us as, as sales agents around ubiquity it is also the, the, the challenge of density. And so in the traditional video model, which is still thriving, you're buying an MCU or a bridge and you're putting it in your data center. And then you're thinking about port capacity and density and who are the anointed users that get access to video conferencing. And what BlueJeans has done by putting this in the cloud, by disrupting the market with a completely different pricing model, and by giving ubiquity, we have now a democratization of video conferencing. It doesn't have to be the executive's conference rooms. It doesn't have to be the management team's conference rooms. It can be anyone can be on video to get business done. And so we've, this is the first product to market that's, that, that we've seen that allows IT folks and CIOs and check writers to, to stop worrying about who are the anointed, the selected few that get video conferencing, and then make this as a tool that's available to everyone. So it's it's part of their original vision, and it's excellent. It's exciting to see them uh, execute against that quite excellently. Um, lots of ease there, uh, and uh, you know it's that's sort of the final uh, component that you know, we see as the as the the real. Um, video conferencing. Again, the traditional model is not dead, but why not go to the cloud? It's uh, not just trend, it's, uh, it's also works, uh, which is the uh, important piece. So, uh, a small pause as we go into actual product demo, and as I do that, I'm just going to uh, shut up for a second and see if uh, either Laura or Adeline have anything to add as far as uh, kind of the market scope or what we're seeing as trends in market uh, beyond the mobility, simplicity, quality and ubiquity. I don't know if there's there's anything else. And then I'm going to go show you under the hood as promised. Laura? Yes, I think a, a big market trend that we're seeing is mobility, work from home. So it's really nice that uh, Blue Jeans allows you to be interoperable and it's very easy to use. It's as easy to use um, through your traditional room system as it is with our desktop browser and also the mobile client. And so we're hearing a lot of good feedback from the ease of use with the new mobile workplace. So that was something that you um, talked about, and I just wanted to highlight that because we are seeing that as a growing industry trend. Awesome. Adeline, I know we nailed it, but um, oftentimes you have bright things to say. I don't know if you wanted to add anything for us, or should we move on? No, I think, uh, I think Laura encapsulated it perfectly. Wonderful. Good. Uh, so I'm going to go into a little uh, product demo. And, uh, you're seeing uh, me on screen now, and just for some of our viewers, we're, we're doing this on mobile devices too, so I'm going to suppress my camera, show content, just in case they're not getting the dual screen. Uh, and so, uh, see you later, I'll be back on camera in just a moment with the content twice. Uh, if, um, if you didn't earlier see the relevant websites, again, at our store.perfectvc.com, if you're compelled to do a trial, click on Perfect Video Cloud, and then you'll get pulled directly to a, uh, a login place where you can start your 14-day trial. That's really going to be the call to action out of today. Is uh, if uh, if you like what you see, we're going to sort of help you through a 14-day trial. Uh, if you didn't remember where our website is, it's just perfectvc.com. And then uh, if you want to check out more about how awesome New Schools is, uh, newschools.org. They are a nonprofit doing some amazing work. So please check them out. Uh, when I go under the hood at Blue Jeans, uh, first thing I'll typically do is I'll go log in uh, at, at my Blue Jeans to go to my account. Um, 
I've already done that over here, so I'll just tab on over, but I want you to see kind of what the welcome screen looks like. I've got a dashboard um, from a management perspective where I can look at my legacy recordings, um, I can look at um, active videos that are there, and then administer the portal. Uh, what I like about this infrastructure is they've kept it clean, so there's not a, a lot going on there, so I can go in and get exactly what I'm done. I'm connected to my wireless card, so it's a little bit slow. I'll keep up the ghost on this in just a moment. I can, I can plug you in. Yeah, I think I'll take get the plug in. Um, great, so then if, um, if we're doing a knowledge base, um, this uh, video section is a great place that if you have recorded things or if you have a knowledge base for training purposes, you could modify this page so that you have recordings there that you can send your end users to. Uh, we firmly believe that you could do your best training once and then have your new employees get trained again by extensive staff or, or take time out of your day to train, or you can have them watch your best recording uh, and uh, learn, by, learn by using the technology. Uh, I typically will spend my time managing meetings on the meetings tab and then adding and deleting users here under the admin tab. So yeah, thank you for the word, uh, certainly moves faster. Sure. Uh, much like any of the other services, you can schedule a meeting that's reservationless or moderated, pin code or not, recurring or constant. And so uh, if you're thinking about needing it, it's likely capable of being done. And if it's not there, we can put it on the feature request and see if they'll add it in later. Uh, I typically like going in and running the, um, the meeting history to kind of see who's my, who are my high users. Uh, and a number of our customers who use this will then set up their users and then run reports against their users and the meetings that they've had. So you can actually get some uh, information that's very useful for uh, creating that return on investment review. So if you're going to purchase this through Perfect Video Conferencing, we'll typically work with you to understand what the demonstrable ROI is or return on investment. We're going to want to have you figure out how many more meetings you're going to have or how less you, frequently you'll travel or how more often you'll bring in people who are homesick in a way that doesn't get the office sick, but then still get some of the rich content that's contained in your meeting. And so there's both the traditional um, ROI that we see with travel and just efficiencies of meetings and people being on camera so then they can't multitask as much. Um, there's sort of efficiencies that are gained by the, the, the natural technology of video conferencing, but then there's also the um, that sort of secondary gain that once you're doing video conferencing, you can capture it on camera, you can use it later, um, and then you can um, kind of still work for it for, for other people. Right. Um, away from my dashboard, I then go to when I joined a meeting. So if I go back to my, um, my meetings, what I did to get into this meeting, I just used my sort of standing meeting credentials, and I chose join meeting. I'm already in there, so I'm not going to obviously come in again. Uh, but you're given right away a couple options, um, and we've talked about where the mobility stuff is quite powerful to give you a link to download the apps. But what I typically do is I'll pair with my codec in room, and then once I've done that, I get this fairly awesome uh, dashboard where I can then invite participants, cut and paste the URL, or pop it into my email, copy the meeting information. I can go in and modify the layout, push that out to all participants, which I've now just done, uh, make it for the active speaker, which is how we started on this one, or give us a constant present to the Hollywood Squares layout, uh, which you'll now see on screen. So uh, from an administrative perspective, you get to help influence uh, and improve the end user's perspective. The other thing that I typically will do um, is um, choose meeting options uh, in my uh, uh, in my dashboard. So you can see one more time. Uh, drop that down. I've gone ahead and hard muted uh, Zach's office and Mike's office, uh, the two little blue jeans banners in the background, just in case uh, they got calls in and they forgot to mute on their on their remote control. They are in a hard mute status, whereas Adeline and Laura are not. And then from a management perspective, I can choose to do that. And if I didn't like the way someone looked, I can actually um, suppress their camera. Which now I've just done that for, <laughs> for Mike. So if you're sick of seeing someone, uh, Blue Jeans gives you a great dashboard to 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 the, the hide their mugs. Uh, so uh, under the hood, you get a lot of tools to help modify or manage the meeting, make it more effective for your end users. And quite frankly, you never have to look at this. If you want to just set it and forget it, people just dial in. I don't want to have this sound like, oh crap, I'm in a Blue Jeans meeting and now I need a moderator. That would actually be very counter to the point of Blue Jeans. But this tool, 
as awesome as it is, gets uh, a steroid boost when you actually log in and then can do the uh, use your superpowers to, to manage the meeting in a way that makes the experience more effective for everyone. And if I decided I wanted to IM within the meeting, I can say, hey, um, and then other folks, uh, if they're also at the dashboard, can do that. Uh, and here at New Schools, uh, what we've seen is that they use this login and join to enrich the experience of content sharing. So oftentimes, um, when you're doing content sharing, you'll do what Rachel and I just did, we'll pass the VGA cord around. But if they've actually all logged in and muted their laptops appropriately in the room, they can just push content from their laptop locally because they are a member. So the ability to share content isn't just relegated to the, to the person who has the dongle uh, to plug in. It's available to anyone who's in the meeting and logged into the dashboard. And so that it makes for a clean user experience of uh, passing around content. And Laura, that's very cool. You, you uh, I am back. And is there a reason yours came in in violet versus mine in yellow? I don't know if it does any uh, gender sorting or if there's a if it knew <laughs> if it does an algorithm that picks out Randy as a maybe it male. It chose my favorite female. color. Okay, great. Yeah, no, it's kind of funny. I was like, she's in pink and I'm in yellow. Not quite blue because Randy could be a girl's name. I didn't know what was going on there under the hood. I mean, I know the stuff under the hood is really powerful, but I didn't know it was that powerful. Um, okay, so then. Um, the, the final thing I like to see is that there are, uh, if you have an ability uh, to drop someone, you can. So the, the nice, nice thing about that is you, you can choose whether or not you want to drop an individual. And we see this oftentimes when people think they're done in a room and they maybe power off their TV and then they leave the room and so suddenly you're stuck with a codec hung in the room and, and not disconnected. So as a manager, you can actually choose to drop someone uh, from the meeting. So uh, full calendar integration. Uh, which means Outlook pops and then all of the invites that you need. So let me show that and then I will pause to see if um, Laura has anything else to add about under the hood. But that's really a, a high level overview of, of where, the, um, where the technology comes to play. So here's, here's the copy to clipboard, which would take all of this information or send an email. And it's great because it just populates everything you need on any device you need and any modality that you want in order to get a meeting going. So uh, again, just uh, it was as simple as send email so there's a tight integration to my local Outlook. Now this isn't going to pop your web browser or Google Mail because again, those are browser-based applications. But what you could easily do is copy that to the clipboard and then paste it in. So if I get rid of that stuff, um, I can just paste it in. So it's as easy as a cut and paste if you're in a browser space. I've, I've had a couple of people call me and say, hey, the, the email integration doesn't work, but they're not running a local client on their, on their desktop for email and it does obviously require the ability to pop an email infrastructure. So Laura, I don't know if I've missed anything under the hood that I should highlight. I am going to go back and show the recording piece when I end it, but um, outside of the recording, is there anything that I've missed that you think is important to highlight? I wanted to add a new resource that we recently got. It's our BlueJeans community. You can visit the community at community.bluejeans.com. And so if you have any ideas of how we could improve the BlueJeans product, you can go in the community. We have engineers and community leaders in there 100% of the time. Our partners like Randy are also in our community. Thanks for pulling that up. Yep. And so this is a way to interact with us directly. At BlueJeans, we pride ourselves on being innovators and leaders in the category. So we love hearing back from customers and you can get live feedback right there at the community. Awesome. Great. Uh, so you'll notice that uh, we're 31 minutes and 52 seconds into the meeting. Um, when I came in and I hadn't started recording, I actually had a start recording button here and then one uh, uh, straight here down on the bottom. So we've made recording very easy to enable. Um, and then I can simplify the dashboard by clicking here. These are the only buttons I hadn't really uh, talked through. So uh, in the event that um, you have questions about the technology, you can reach me at 516-282-2812 uh, directly. Uh, you can always email support at perfectvc.com as well, and that'll open and track a ticket. So um, we're in that kind of wrap-up mode, so I will pause and sort of ask the team to see if I've missed anything. Mike, that will include you, just in case you want me to unmute. I know you're, uh, you're here on the phone. Uh, we also, we also did invite people to enter questions via chat. So I don't know if there's anything that's come in. I'll take a look. Um, actually, 
There are. Okay, so we've got. Um, does Blue Jeans offer branding services? So I can have my logo on the login pages there by making it look like we provided the services. So, so yes, there is an OEM sort of overlay fee that you can pay. I forget what it is, um, which uh, prompts me to talk a little bit about pricing. Um, so we do want to uh, put a couple of notes in there about starter packages. Uh, the, the basic price that we see most often, uh, if you're paying monthly, it ends up being about $15,000 a year. And if you're, uh, if you're paying up front, it comes down from a little bit. But there are various price packages based on the size of your organization. Uh, Adeline, Allure, I don't know if you want to talk any more about pricing. It's generally better for them to talk to us live and generally better for us not to record pricing information um, too much. But uh, yeah, it's very inexpensive for the density of what you get um, and is, is really the takeaway. But think about twelve dollars to $15,000 as your entry point. There are some new packages that have come out recently that are less expensive than that, but those might not be the right size for your organization. And then there are some all-you-can-eat packages. The bigger you are, the better we scale. The bigger you are, the less the price goes down per user. Yeah. From a pricing perspective, Adeline, anything or, or anything else we should say? Or, or yes. So, I mean, that is uh, kind of where our entry point is. Typically, we like to uh, keep it pretty customized on a per-customer basis. So, um, we have all sorts of incentives, all sorts of, you know, starter um, incentives and we, we typically like to make it pretty easy for you to start using, and then uh, you know after we've analyzed some data and usage, we uh, we would work out with the customer a plan that works best for them. Great. Um, okay, so then Derek, it looks like branding. There's a yes to that. Um, those are customized, so we should talk offline about what that branding services costs. And there are some. Uh, just to be very clear about that up front, you will never lose part of. Uh, the blue jeans logoing. So there is going to be a powered by blue jeans component to it. We've had the request about zero footprint of blue jeans and, and that branding option, to my knowledge at this point, does not exist. Uh, so I guess the only option for there is go ahead and buy blue jeans and then you can rebrand it to your company name. But uh, good luck with that. They're growing exponentially and not for sale currently. <laughs> so uh, yeah, limited OEM branding um, and labeling. Uh, and talk to us about pricing. This the starter package for a company of uh, 250 employees. Great question. I, I think really what we would also want to divine is how many of those 250 uh, employees are going to have root access to Blue Jeans. So while we don't have to worry as much as we used to with the video conferencing model about how many ports do you have or how much can you use, uh, the question in, for me uh, on a 250 C organization would be. Do you ever need to go above 25 users? Because then there's a high density package that we could deploy for how many people you want on screen. And there are some all you can eat packages. But um, luckily, as one of the co-owners, I'm not quite frankly all that familiar with the price points of um, 250 user packages. So I'd have to lean on, if you, if you guys want to give an estimate to that, go ahead and do it. But otherwise, we'll reach out to you, Derek, offline based on registration. Mike, did you or Adeline or Laura? Yeah, I was just going to say it, it, it's customers come in so many different shapes and sizes. Um, at the end of the day, it, it really comes down on a case by case basis because we don't really know how much of those 250 employees are consuming. So it always starts with a discussion and then we always work out something that, that works for them. Yeah, and I'll use New Schools as, as an example. They started as a single registration account uh, in that twelve to $15,000 a year and then their usage and their needs for overlapping meetings uh, increased so much that they now have two accounts in the organization. And, and so they came up with a price point based on the ability to overlap meetings on blue jeans. And, and, and they've already demonstrated that the demand was there enough to warrant the additional cost. And the additional cost was fractions to what it would have cost to actually build an infrastructure bridge. So we've recently done an infrastructure deployment like this at a premises, the customer couldn't have a cloud solution, and that cost them $75,000 to build the bridge in their data center in order to do what a $15,000 uh, package uh, deploys. And that, that data center deployment doesn't have the reporting capabilities, it doesn't have nearly the mobility options. So not only do you get more for a, a cloud service, uh, but it costs less. The ROI on that would be five years before you even caught up to the infrastructure. Now, again, they had they had the demand for privacy and security, so it warranted the infrastructure build. Um, but some people 
uh, live better in the cloud? Uh, the answer on the two-week demo uh, extension is generally no. Uh, so on uh, Steve's question, we really, for, for, for very appropriate purposes, have a very tight demo process. We want to make sure we're qualified and ready before we demo. Uh, and then we want to make sure that you end up by having the stakeholders interested in the demo aligned um, and ready to test. Uh, and so it's not often that we um, extend beyond two weeks and there has to be real extenuating circumstances because if we do a two week demo and we've got all the decision makers lined up and we've got the stakeholders who need to kick the tires, it's a fairly inexpensive solution so it should be easy to pull the trigger. Uh, if we go beyond two weeks, quite frankly, the exposure on Blue Jeans and on Perfect Video or any of the partners to do a three-week demo or a four-week demo becomes into uh, it, time is money, and inertia uh, means that we're not going to close. And so the demo is really about you testing it to make sure it's proven in your environment, and then you make a decision. And so what Mike and Greg and Zach and the team are are wired for on setting up demos is first identifying your evaluation criteria. You know, what are we gonna do in a demo and how do we prove success? So that when we look back at that demo, you get to say within your organization, here are the review criteria and we met them. And here was the, uh, uh, the challenges we were trying to solve and we have solved them. So that you get a clear answer internally at the organization that Blue Jeans is the right fit. And so that's why we, we proceed cautiously. Now, uh, like I've done throughout this uh, recording, Adeline, Laura, I'm going to give you the opportunity now to unmute and correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, typically we're not seeing a lot of flexibility for... for yeah, right. I just wanted to just to add to that, um, really throughout the, the sales process, I would really uh, lean on the Blue Jean sales team for this. With every opportunity that comes through, it, it's assigned to a Blue Jeans rep who is in that territory, and they will really be the Blue Jeans expert and kind of guide you the, through the entire process. And really, they would know best, and and they have the power to extend, you know, demos in in very rare circumstances, or even offer an enterprise trial if the situation warrants it. So, um, you know, I can't stress enough just really rely and lean on on Blue Jeans uh, in terms of direction when it comes to to trialing. And I'd like to add something on the co-branding front. Um, we do not completely white label blue jeans. However, we do offer a co-branding package. So your logo will be very prominent and it's obvious that it's coming through your company. So that's something that we can always explore more, but we do not white label. Randy, are you muted? I did. Thank you. I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you for catching that. So I was saying wonderful things and my mouth moving, but uh, nothing getting recorded. So at the beginning of the seminar, I had mentioned that um, uh, I would poke in the direction of where PVC is going from a technology perspective, and so I want to talk about that, and then we can all hang up. Uh, you know, so ultimately, we've been a very healthy and thriving bar, uh, but in order to grow to the density that we need to and to meet the demands of our clients, we're not going to be able to build out our own colo infrastructure or the bridges. And so we are solidly choosing cloud and blue jeans as a premier partner in that space to deliver high density bridging. However, we are building our own video contact center infrastructure. So uh, we have our own bridge, but we're modifying our bridge infrastructure so that, you know, like on this call, uh, we've got four participants and, and would that we needed an outside expert, we are now building the logic around integration with services like Blue Jeans to then take that call and escalate it out in a multimodality manner to an expert, track that, and bring them back in. So what the hell does that mean? It means that if I wanted to SMS or text someone to see if they were available, our dashboard will allow for that so that you can reach a doctor. And then if I get in touch with a specialist, I could even have a group of specialists that are in queue and then find a cardiologist or a particular type of lawyer. And once I find someone who accepts the SMS or the web chat from Q, I can elevate them into the meeting so everyone can see their chat, elevate them into the meeting so that everyone can hear their voice or bring them on via camera, and we're using WebRTC to do this, so that everyone can see the expert. The expert can then come in, render an opinion, and then leave. And we're doing all of the data collection on that and all of the call detail reports on that. And so for, for businesses we see downstream, real win-win, there is not only do they get to 
reach the expert as quickly as possible, but then they also get to report and use these traditional call center, um, voice call center CDRs or uh, call detail reports to extract data for billing and invoicing purposes. And so uh, look for um, a seminar on that next month. Uh, we're absolutely going to use integrations to BlueJeans, um, LifeSize, Polycom, and all of the players to make sure that we're an ecosystem that brings the glue together. Um, but ultimately, it is going to be a video contact center. And so uh, beyond the, the VAR space that we're operating in now as an endpoint reseller and a cloud reseller, we are going to become a software as a service a company in 2015, and so uh, we look forward to sharing that with you in more details as, as those emerge. And uh, if you've heard that and you're so excited about it and you feel like investing, uh, look back at my phone number and give me a call because we are always uh, looking for partners to help execute against that, that, that big plan. Um, great. So we're at the 45-minute mark, as promised. We don't want to keep these things too long. Uh, we want to keep them on schedule. So I'm going to show you how I would end uh, the blue jeans side of the recording, and then we'll hang up the meeting. So. Uh, in the event that uh, I want to continue my meeting, but I want to stop recording, I just head over to the red button. Um, Adeline, Laura, before I hit it, going once, anything else? Going twice? No, thank you for having me. Thank you, Randy. Great. So thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate your time. Call us if you have any questions. Recording has stopped. Excellent. And now I'm going to stop the life-size recording. So wonderful. Thank you, everyone.